सावन आवन कह गयो सावन आवन कह गयो कर गयो कॉले आने हो गिनता गिनता घिस गई मारी अंगलिया जीवे हो गिनता गिनता घिस गई मारी अंगलिया जीवे पधारो मारो दे केसरिया बालम ओ केसरिया बाल मोरी पधारो मारो दे पधारो मारो दे Hello beautiful people. How are you doing? This was a song of desire. Desire which is captivated in all our hearts to see someone, to long for someone. Like the way you look at the clouds and wish for mon monsoons to come down on the parched earth. <laughs> the way you yearn to see your beloved. The song captivates all desires together and today one of my dreams have come true because today on uh, is a very special episode of chatterley because i have two very bright very bright musicians from kolkata with me who when they go on stage and play their music there's only one word that occurs to you when you are a part of the audience you are mesmerized you are transfixed you are transported to a world of poetry and imageries may i welcome shomojit and shorendra on the show i'm so happy that both of you are here and uh, shomo uh, when you were singing this song uh, What, what does this mean uh, for a lay audience? What what is it about? The basic. There was a lot of uh, yes. ye yearning and longing in this song. So yes, is it there? Yeah, uh, like basically it's uh, a folk tale of Rajasthan. Okay. And I'm so proud to express that folklore of our country, of this entire South Asia, speaks so much, so beyond life. Right. And uh, this is a song where uh, you can just feel that a lady who has been waiting for. a beloved is uh, is urging that kesariya balam my beautiful uh, sweetheart please come to me because uh, ginta ginta ghis gayi mari angliya veg like ba. savan avan uh, the clouds have come and i have been counting for days see i, I didn't know the lyrics but i i i kind of said it right but uh, tell me something when you uh, yearn for someone when you really long for someone uh, how do you uh, I mean, is is there someone very special in your life that you yearn to see so much? Um, maybe, maybe, maybe there's somebody. Okay. Mostly, uh, the thing is in our form of music, mm -hmm. there are certain basic stages when you just express words, but when there are like features like rock sangeet or classical forms of music influencing your kind of music, right. it's like poetry. It's no more literature. it goes beyond that it goes beyond that absolutely well that doesn't close the doors to a small peek into your personal life but tell me something uh, shorendra molik as a pianist and shomojit das as a vocalist have uh, formed this beautiful uh, collaboration called you and i and you've been on a spree of presenting wonderful concerts all across the globe but how did it all began i mean was this appreciation and was this mesmerization there in the beginning as well no you know that it was not <laughs> you know that mostly I'll it leave was it to him. mostly it was our college days that we were performing different forms of music for different festivals so you you were uh, uh, we performing were, in college as well right we both were in the same college right we were in the same college okay 
and then we started performing. And uh, there were situations mm -hmm. when uh, mostly people used to tell us that why don't you explore classical forms of music as you have got training in those fields. And what we tried to experiment was uh, we had that belief in our hearts that if we play classical music, there are people who love it. And if you can really express those classical forms which were there in the 16th century or even before that, you must have some people and mostly a section of the crowd who would really appreciate it. But strangely, we have been to such circumstances when there were audience of the age group between 17 and 25, and they all loved it. It's a matter of a performer's belief. You know, I, I quite agree with him because I will come back to this. I remember I was in Delhi and at a concert where uh, a, a, a Bharatanatyam dancer uh, called Geeta Chandran, uh -huh. she was performing and she actually sang uh, a couple of lines of Haveli Sangeet. Okay. And there was an 18-year-old, very hip, wonderful-looking girl in the audience who, who actually asked her after the concert, uh, madam, is there a CD available for the same? So you see, there is a, there is a lull for music Absolutely. in. But you have to cater it in yeah, that but, way. But tell me something. When you when you started in college, as a, as you said, you wanted to explore classical forms. Uh, were the women deprived? Did they find it boring or did they find it interesting? What what happened in college? Mostly, uh, what happens when you start performing? There are many people who adore you. Okay. Men, women, both. And what happens, you have to have a filter in your life. Right. Like, since you're a like, performer, you have to go through stages when there are many things, different forms of life interacting with you. Mm -hmm. But you have to have a filter. And beyond that has to be your motivation, your music. When did you meet him? <laughs> Mostly, uh, we had a very strange situation. 